It was the Feast of the Assumption, and the crowds flooded into the tiny County Cork village of Ballanspittal last night in the expectation of perhaps the hope of a special event at the grotto, in which they say a miracle happens every day of the week. The statue moved. Special buses travelled from all over the country, swelling the crowd to a record 20,000 or so. But for weeks now, crowds of 8 and 10,000 have been coming to the shrine, and a group of local ladies say they saw the statue move, and the word spread like wildfire. And now even the most hard little sinners say they see movement, usually at night, but now by day as well. I have seen things uh, since something after when the maid's hand was wet. I'm not, I'm not definite. Um, it was all broad daylight, so I can't explain it. Do you regard it as a miracle? Well, I don't know, but all, all I'd say about it is that um, there's something happening anyway. But did you feel religiously moved when it was happening? Well, I suppose I prayed a bit more, her right, you know, but. Um, I don't know. Has the experience uh, affected you? Not really. Only the when, when I say booby, I walk away from it. Why? I don't know. I mean, I, I know it's a, a, chalk, a chalk model. You know, and if you if you're walking down the road and the pillar just get up and start to move around, you know, <laughs> a similar reaction, you know. Over the last several weeks, the sick, the curious, and the devout have flooded in, while the church has appealed to its people to exercise precaution and prudence in its attitude to the statue, possibly mindful that this is at least the third statue in the south of the country which is supposed to have moved in recent months. And indeed, the hierarchy are giving the shrine a miss, though nuns and clergy join the pilgrims, some of whom are in wheelchairs or on crutches. But words of caution don't deter the crowd. Well, my first experience was that uh, I thought I saw the statue becoming alive, you know, that Our Lady was really present there, and this was in the daylight. And um, then, a few evenings after that, I saw the face of the Sacred Heart, and so did my mother at the same time. But uh, we didn't say anything to each other, and uh, it was during this one particular rosary. When the rosary was over, I uh, said to the fellow next to me that uh, I saw the face of the Sacred Heart. So my mother said to me, Did you see that as well? You know? My belief before I came, but I'm afraid my bride didn't. I was praying on the way down that it was he'd see it instead of me. But unfortunately, I saw it. You know, I would have preferred to have him see it because he didn't believe. He was skeptical about it, you know? So. And what, what do you think is the explanation? I just think it's supernatural. A miracle? Yeah. Without a doubt. A local committee has itself cleared a hillside opposite the shrine so the crowds can see and pray. And they're determined, they say, that there will be no commercialism, not a burger joint or religious picture stand to be seen at the shrine. So a few have gotten into the nearby village. And they've little time here for scientific or logical explanations of optical illusions or tricks of light. It happened on a Monday night. I didn't get up here until Wednesday because I didn't believe it. But I came and I saw what I saw. I mean, I wouldn't really force my beliefs on anybody, but I saw what I saw. Well, we did look for this, the footprints, and uh, in the short time, but um, it has changed the appearance of our country completely. In what way? We will never be the same by the spittle again.